Hello everyone and welcome back to this brand new YouTube video. Today we are starting a new exciting project in which I will build my first fully autonomous mobile robot. As a PhD student, I'm building this robot to be a research platform in which I can apply and test algorithms. Now obviously it have to be up to some high standards before it can be used as a research platform. So a lot of iterations between development, prototyping and testing is required. This robot will be the first version in a line of evolving machines. Each version will exceed its predecessor's performance both mechanically and computationally. So this YouTube series will be a sort of a devlog in which every week you will follow the evolution of this robot and its applications. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, it's absolutely free and activate the notifications so you can stay tuned for new videos. My first objective at this point is to build a simple differential drive robot that uses classical and artificial intelligence algorithms in order to autonomously navigate through unknown environments. So in this video, we will start by designing an initial chassis for our robot and then export it to a gazebo simulation where we can do some simulations before building a real life prototype. But before that, here's a few words on this video sponsor. PCBWay is a professional PCB manufacturing service offering fast and affordable prototyping. They offer a broad spectrum of PCB prototyping, assembly, design, and CNC 3D printing services using advanced manufacturing technologies. Once you finish designing your circuit, just go to PCBWay, upload your file, and then custom your board using the many choices they offer from the type of the board's material to thickness and color and even the surface finish. Every autonomous mobile robot contains the same basic components, an MCU, actuators, and some sensors. In my case, I had in my possession two 12-volt geared DC motors equipped with a motor encoder, a motor driver, an MPU6050 board containing an accelerometer and gyroscope, a Raspberry Pi 4 board, a LiDAR sensor, and finally, two regular wheels and two caster wheels. It is essential that we take all these components in consideration while designing a chassis for our robot. Speaking of design, there is a variety of modeling softwares out there that you can use for this task. But if you're not in the mood for installing some heavy and expensive software, then using Onshape is an excellent choice. It's a beginner-friendly, fast, and most importantly, free CAD tool that can speed up your design process quite effectively. The workflow for Onshape is very intuitive. First you create sketches of your robot parts, you extrude them and then you assemble them together. I have used Onshape before to design a self-balancing robot which was successfully done, so I shouldn't be completely helpless in this. The first thing I did was making some discs. The first one was the motor disc in which I can mount two motors. I made sure to leave some space for the wheels, based on my wheels dimensions. The second disc is reserved for mounting the power supplies. I made two holes for passing the motor wires to the upper levels of the robot, which will make for a cleaner look. The third one is the MCU disc, in addition to this rectangular cut, for mounting a camera if I could get my hands on a good one in the future. The last two discs are for mounting the LiDAR sensor. Now, this part is very delicate because it depends on the thickness of my discs. I plan to use thin acrylic sheets which will allow me to cover this whole area without restricting the belt movement, leaving only a circle that's big enough for the rotating laser part of the LiDAR. And that will give the robot a clean look. To bind all of these discs together in a shelf-like formation, I'll use some threaded rods like these, and that will fix them together pretty tight. Now that all the chassis parts are done, it's time for the assembly. To be honest, it took me a while going back and forth between the parts studio and the assembly tab to finish with this particular design, but I think that will do for now. After all, we need to simulate our robot in order to detect further design issues. It's finally time to export this robot to a simulation environment. For me, Gazebo is an obvious choice, 
since we can use it together with ROS and that will allow us to use the same code in our simulation later in real life experiments, which will cut down our development time drastically. To export a robot from Onshape to Gazebo, you need two things. The first thing is to export your robot parts as an STL files. The second thing is the SDF file that contains the description of your robot parts, where they are and how they connect to each other, which can be a little bit intimidating, especially for beginners. So my advice is to use this package named Onshape to robot, which is a tool that allows you to import robots designed in Onshape CAD software to descriptions formats like URDF and SDF. Installing this package was no brainer for me, but I had to make some changes in the resulting SDF file for it to be imported to Gazebo successfully. And as you can see here, my robot is now in Gazebo, and from here on, I'll be able to simulate it using ROS, and I will probably will iterate between Onshape and Gazebo until this design feels right. I will be off now to do some coding for the simulation, I will show you the results in the next video. So if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing to the channel. It's absolutely free and you can always change your mind. Goodbye.